Hey guys, first off I want to apologise for the sound of my voice, I do actually have a cold at the moment, but today I'm going to be doing an update on my Pan Matte Palette Challenge, so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up, check out my links below because I have a um, kind of anything Pan Matte Palette or Project Pan related, I have a playlist for all of that, so that will be linked below, so make sure you check that out if you are interested in these kinds of videos, and whilst you're there make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest videos, but now I'm going to get on and show you my update on the Maybelline Designer Chocolate Squad, which the lid has actually now snapped off. <laughs> so it's been about a month since my last update, um, and I have solidly been using this eyeshadow palette if I have been wearing eyeshadows, which I have done most days, um, recently because I've been sick. Um, I haven't, I've either not worn any eyeshadow or I've worn very little. Um, I've kind of been using the taupey shade a bit more on those days just because it's so kind of light and neutral. It just kind of brightens up my eyes a little bit without me having to really take the time to do my eyeshadow properly. Um, so I've done, a, I've got a little bit more pan showing on the taupey shade. Um, I now have pan on the rose gold colour which is very exciting, there's quite a bit of pan showing actually and there's quite a large dip in that general area which I'm really happy about. The brown, the matte dark brown shade, I am really really close to hitting pan on which I'm really happy about um, considering I only now have a couple of weeks left of trying to finish this up, that was kind of my original goal. Now I think I'm just going to try to hit pan on all four shades which the brown should be fine but the white I haven't really touched this entire time. I've been using it, I think I've mentioned in previous videos, I've been using that as an inner corner highlight. Um, so obviously you don't need a lot of product to do that, so I haven't used up too much of that um, but that's going to be my focus for the next couple of weeks and I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get down and hit pan on it. It has got a little bit of indentation on it but not much. Uh, the brown hasn't really got much of an indentation across the eyeshadow but just in the centre where I've been focusing my brush it's quite low down and I think in the next couple of days maybe I could hit pan on this and um, maybe if I use it as an all over lid colour I might be able to hit pan on that a bit quicker and then focus on the white shade. So that is the update for now. So just to give you a quick comparison here I've got what my palette looked like last month compared to what it looks like now. So you can see I've definitely made progress on the rose gold, a little bit more on the taupey shade and hopefully you can tell a little bit of a difference on the brown shade as well. So that is my update, I know this is a really quick video, um, yeah, two more months left of trying to pan this palette, um, I was kind of, kind of optimistic when I first started trying to pan this that I would be able to pan the whole thing, I think I maybe just don't wear eyeshadow enough or I don't use enough of it each time, I'm not sure, I really struggle to use up products, um, so maybe I just need to really pack on the eyeshadow and use all four colours and do crazy looks and stuff, um, I don't really know, but if I can hit pan on all of these I will be happy, and then I will put this away, because I am getting quite tired of using this same palette every single day and all of the rest of my eyeshadows are kind of going a bit unloved. That being said, I am still debating whether or not to do a pan that palette challenge for the whole of 2016, um, I have the Urban Decay is it the sustainable palette in like the wooden packaging? I have that palette which I had considered trying to pan next year and I might still do that. Um, I think the eyeshadows are maybe a little bit smaller, I'm not sure, I need to do a comparison on that actually and see if how much product is in this compared to how much product is in each of those eyeshadows but um, yeah I might do that next year or I might go back to doing like a weekly makeup basket type of thing, which if you guys follow my blog, which is also linked below if you want to check that out, um, when was that? Maybe last year? I was doing a weekly makeup basket blog post, so each Sunday I would switch out the makeup that I would want to wear that following week and put it all in one basket, so I was just reaching for that stuff, and I did a blog post telling you guys what I was using, why I was using it, what worked for me last time and what didn't, and that kind of thing. So I might maybe go back to doing that, I don't know if I'll do blog posts or anything on it, but um, maybe I'll do the occasional update if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments if you are. Um, but yeah, I might do that or I might do a pan that palette, so let me know what you guys think I should do. Do you think I should do a weekly makeup basket kind of thing and switch through all of my makeup or do you think I should try to focus on finishing up a palette? I think it would be so satisfying to actually completely pan and completely finish off a whole palette, but I just don't know if I'll be able to do that. I know I'll have 12 months, but I had, what, was it five months of trying to use just up this little quad? 
and I haven't managed to do that. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now and let you guys go so you don't have to keep listening to my horrible voice. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Check out my links below and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's the beginning of December so I'm going to be doing my November favourites and empty. So I'll start off with my favourites. I have quite a few makeup bits actually. Normally I don't have that many makeup bits but I don't... I have some makeup bits today but I don't have too many favourites and I don't have too many empty. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be a quick video.